What is monkey patching in Python? Monkey patching refers to the dynamic or runtime modification of a class or module. It is an advanced topic in Python. Then why we need this monkey patching? So, while working on a real time project, it might so happen that the third party library is not working well. So, in order to change it from our project end, monkey patching becomes very helpful. So, with monkey patching, we tend to change a particular code at runtime so that it behaves differently. Python being an interpreted language allows us to do runtime modification. We can reopen the class and modify its behavior using monkey patching. So, we will see with an example. So, here we have a class power. Then we have a function name as square which returns the square of the input number. Then we are creating an object of the class and using that object we are printing the square function with an input as 3. Then what is the output we are getting? We are getting the output as 9. Now let us see this piece of the code. right? So now we have another piece of code in a separate file and here we have changed the behavior of the square function at runtime. So, we have replaced the defined function square with the newly defined function cube at the runtime itself. So, first we have imported the previously created file. The previous file name was sub 0 and this file name is sub 1. Okay. So, we have imported the previously created file that is sub 0 dot py file. So, that is what you can see here import sub 0. Then we have created a function as cube which returns the cube of the input number. Here we are doing the monkey patching. Then we have created the previously defined class object and printing it and seeing the output as square of 3 is 9 and cube of 3 is 27. So, that is how we can do monkey patching. Okay. So, basically the dynamic or runtime modification of a class or module. Okay. So, we will move to the next question. Explain split, sub, sub n methods of remodule in Python. We will learn about this question in our next video. Thank you.